Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing like a really interesting combo that I think it could be like the perfect travel companion. In this case, we're gonna be, we're gonna be trying the Olympus 35 trip. This is a really, really nice camera. You don't need battery to operate it. So it just charges with the sun. It has like a selenium cell in the front. You have custom setup of the ISO and it has a 40 mil 2.8 lens which is pretty decent for the price and the size of the camera. You just have to load it up, set up, set up your ISO, and you can get yourself going. And to actually see if this is actually the best travel combo, I have brought with me Candido Film ISO 200. I've never tried this film. I'm giving it the first time I spin around, and I really don't know what to expect about it, but I want to prove that the Olympus Trip 35 and this film might be the best travel companions. We're trying to find interesting compositions. The light is very, very sunny. So we're gonna try to find places where the light isn't as harsh and put this camera to test. Let's see what it has to offer. One of the cool things about this camera is that it has a range, a range um, approximation, basically focusing ring. So you don't really have to think too much about it. If you are taking photo of somebody that's very close, you just basically put it in the half body kind of focus. And then if you are taking something that is a landscape, you put in the little mountain drawing and that's the guide, basically. Not, not much science, you just put it on, shoot away and have fun. So I've been told by the guys of uh, Candido Film that their stock is actually Vision 3, Kodak Vision 3 cinema um, film with the rain jet layer removed. This, uh, the rain jet layer is basically a, part, a component of the film that prevents um, halation in the, highlands, in the highlights of the image. And that's why I was taking an image here just to see with the glare of the water if we get the characteristical red kind of halation like what um, Cinesteel films look like or this one possibly, I don't know. I want to take it to the lab and actually see uh, how it will handle the very harsh uh, highlights. Wow. I was just taking some photos of the greens now as well to test out for color rendition. And I think here is a really good place because you get like super bright blues and then the greens in there, so. Nice, nice, nice. I got carried away and I thought it was a 36 uh, exposure film. It was 24, so we just finished it. Uh, that's the thing, when you're having fun, time goes by really fast. Um, so now I'm gonna take this and develop it and probably I will do another video talking a little bit about the scans and the process of developing these sort of films to see how, um, how it dries and how it handles the, the process of development. But yeah, thank you for watching and the YouTube deal, you know, like, subscribe, drop me down a comment if you have tried this film or if you have tried any other budget films. Um, thank you for watching. Peace out.